All right, guys. Hi, this is Blue Hair and Tarot. I'm going to do a read for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be an astrology spread. I do give readings. Uh, my information is down in the description box down below. Um, this is going to pertain to love. This is going to pertain to career. This is going to pertain to your energy. What's going on? What's going on in your path? Okay. Wow, we got temperance. This is already beautiful. You are in a very balanced state. You're kind of aligning and flowing with divine timing. If you guys aren't feeling that, that's what you're calling in. But that's your energy. So, beautiful. Wow. And you are very inspired. For some of you, there's, there's a new start to something. A new inspiring start, maybe in love. But just energetic. Yeah, in love. I just said maybe in love. And then the lover's card came out. Could be with a Sagittarius. Could be with a Gemini or another... Or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, um, uh, Leo. So, wow. Um, some of you guys are coming into union with a lover. Some of you guys might... No, that's it. It's, and some of you guys might have a choice in love, but I, I'm not really getting that. I'm really getting that you're, in a, you're reconciling with a lover for some of you. Um, for others of you, it's just... If you're in a relationship, you're in a really balanced state. There's a, but it feels kind of new or a new beginning with the Ace of Inspiration with you and a person. So I'm really getting huge reconciliation. You're in a beautiful state of balance. Um, you're you're aligned. This is divine timing. So things are balancing out in a relationship, or there's a new start in a relationship. For some of you, it can be you know somebody new, somebody new, and it's because. Um, you know, it's perfectly divinely orchestrated, put it that way. So let's get, let's get a little bit more for, um, wow. See the 10 of emotions wanted to pop out. That's a crazy, let's get just one card. Yeah. So some of you guys, this new person might be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a very, very nurturing energy. I feel like some of you guys are perceived as very nurturing yourself. Some of you guys can be healers too, teachers, um, mothers. But anyway, you are being perceived as very healing, okay? You might be in the healing arts um, or this person you're calling in is very nurturing. It's very healing. You're that to them. Um, a lot of emotions. Yeah, it's just really warm, nurturing energy. You might be feeling emotional right now. Okay, you might, some of you guys might be cutting out, in your work, you're cutting out things that don't serve. Or in your work, you're not taking any more shit. So you're basically t like cutting out things that don't help you make your money or Things that aren't secure, things that aren't stable, things that are taking away from your abundance, you are actually just taking them out. You're a little bit cutthroat when it comes to that, okay? So when it comes to money, you're cutting out things that get in the way so that you can just enjoy yourself, really. Um, okay. So some of you guys might work, like social media could help you with your work, um, Ooh. Some of you guys might be cutting out. There's some grieving in the home. So something's going on in the home. Um, I'm going to clarify that right now. It might have been this past relationship where you guys were separated. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So I, I do feel like maybe in the workplace, um, maybe, in, maybe in the relationship in the past, there was a lot of conflict. There's a lot of internal conflict going on with you. There's a lot of grief. I mean, there's a little bit of crying over spilt milk. Um, you might have lost a home or you might lost a relationship that you thought was your home. For some of you, I think it is this relationship where in the past it was really sad. Um, you decided to go and just do your work, cut out things that didn't get in the way. Okay. Um, but I feel like your, your expression is to like really separate the inner conflict, you know, which is the external conflict really like just push aside the darkness, push aside the illusion, push aside the fight, push aside the judging and release yourself and move to this inner light. Um, 
And I think as you do this, it's like you're like, you're done. You're cutting out the things that don't serve you or you have been. And you're like looking beyond the grief. You're looking through the grief into the light. You know, if it wasn't for the grief, you wouldn't find the light because you wouldn't have the contrast to know what the light and the love is, right? So there's a lot of inspiring energy in this work that you've done. And you're really moving into this like beautiful, emotional, supportive energy. There's been a lot of healing going on for you, Capricorn. And it's really big. It's really um, paying off. Okay. All right. So some of you, um, this is not for all of you, but some of you, there, there might have been like a literal death in the family or in the home. Okay. Or you might work in, um, and there's going to be, there's going to be healing to that. I feel like you are healing from that. If that's, if that's you, um, you're going to see, you're going to see, you're going to move beyond the grief. It, it's just, just a process. But for others of you, you guys might work in the field of, you guys might be, you know, therapists. You guys might work in the field of like, you know, hospice kind of thing. You might be taking care of somebody. Some of you guys might be healers that um, really take people into their shadows. And you're like, you're a transformative, like, healer, guide, therapist, somatic healing. You know, you, you help people release um, stuck energy, um, help transmute and transform that energy. Um, it's your service to yourself too, to really go to those places. Um, interesting. All right, the queen of inspiration. So I do feel like, again, this lover who might be a uh, Sagittarius, uh, Scorp ah, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, oh, any sign really, but it's, there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. One of you guys could be like, have water or fire in your chart or both of you. Um, yeah, I just see this relationship really coming together, okay? I feel like there's been some grieving. I, honestly, for some of you, it's just a new beginning in this relationship. Um, I think you've gone through a lot of transformation. Um, you've really collapsed the inner, the inner battle. And, and through that, through that grief, you've been releasing the grief that you've experienced. Because maybe you thought this person was your home, you know? For others of you, you know, you're releasing one love and moving to another. It's kind of like a reconcile. It's like a reconciliation with self. Okay. It's like, I feel like you're known for this, or this is just really how you're shining is there's been a battle. There's been an inward battle. There's a, been a, there's a battle going on externally all the time. And if we're all one, right, if there's unity consciousness and it's all a mirror, then it's going on inside of us. It's going on inside our mind. We're judging. We're fighting ourselves. We're judging others. It's just a constant battle. And it's just you're pushing it all aside and moving to love, moving to the freedom, moving to that childlike innocence. And you're allowing that stuff to die, ego death. It's your service to yourself to do this transformation. And I see you doing it. And I feel like that's, it's your service to the community too, but I'm getting it's at least for yourself. That, that's your healing. And then in comes this relationship. Um, some of you guys might be in it right now. I think you are. If not, it's coming. Yeah, many blessings. That's interesting. Sagittarius got this as well. So some of you guys might have Sagittarius in your chart or you are, this could be a Sagittarius that you're, um, that your person could be with the fire there and the temperance in the middle. So some of you guys are with a Sagittarius. Okay, this going inside, this is death is clarifying the eighth house, which even though this is the 13 card, this eighth house represents this card. This transformation, this going inward, this, this pushing aside the fight, the battle, 
allowing the grief to just be felt, embraced as what is, you encounter, you know, the Empress. You know, you embody the spirit, you embody the light, you become lighter, you become the universe. Like she's like embodying the universe, you know? And then the universe, it becomes that, it's like you receive the universe, you receive what you are, you push aside the clutter and the heaviness and the, the blind spots and the shadows and you just become the universe, the true universe of what you are. You align with divine well. You allow God or your higher self to bring you what is yours. You're in that balanced state. You're aligned with divine timing. So you've gone through, like, I feel like you have, you're grieving something that was once your home, okay? Some of you guys have had a dark night. Some of you guys are, are dealing, you know, having some major transformation, okay? But because of it, yeah, you're in, you're very inspired. You're much lighter. You're much more balanced. And you're calling in love. Union for some of you guys, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this seeking, um, you're on a new cycle. You're, you're experiencing the world in a different way. You know, closing out a chapter and moving on to a new one. A lot of success for you, Capricorn. You got the eight of materials right in the 10th house. So you're going to be making money. You're going to be growing your money. You're going to be working. Okay. There's definitely work going on. And you mean business when it comes to work. You're not messing around. You're cutting out things that are no longer serving you. Okay. Cutting out the things that don't like align with the divine temperance, divine will. Okay. So you mean business when you, you're moving forward, very abundant, very like you got a plan. Okay. You're not messing around when it comes to career, when it comes to your stability, um, there is money to be made. Um, but this is a different, this is this, even in your, whatever you're doing, I don't see like a, I mean, some of you guys might have a, a career change, but it seems like there's just more struggles in the home, you know, and, and maybe in your relationship. Okay. You have a new perspective of how you perceive friends and groups of people as well. Um, some, some of you guys, interesting. The queen of materials in the 12th house. Your dreams are materializing, Capricorn. There's yourself, the queen of materials in the 12th house. Um, you're comfortable in the unknown. You're comfortable hanging out in, in the divine limitless potential, the fluidity, which is pretty awesome. And also you're the creator of the constructs within that. So it's almost like you, you're you kind of tapping into and agreeing and working. You're working with your higher self, the creator, to create this world of balance, but of, of abundance. Twelfth house. I feel like you're really only wanting people in your life that are, I want to say not wobbly, you know, like it's kind of like, I don't like for some of you, some of your groups of friends or your work groups or community in which you're you have around you maybe you're waiting to decide like kind of if you want to be in a specific community um or maybe it is like Capricorn that you're just quite not sure what you want when it comes to like your group of friends like you're kind of I feel like you have your tilt your head tilted like what is my wish what are my wishes you know when it comes to like it's a little bit of like, what are my wishes? What do I want? Especially because you have this ability to materialize like your abundance. Some of you guys are in the healing field. But yeah, this is, this is beautiful energy. One more card for you. Not the devil. Well, that is you. What's the other card for... Mm 
Okay, final card. Oh my gosh, to have the six of voices on top, on top of temperance. Okay, your overall energy Capricorn, this is like kind of telling the story and then this is like kind of either, this is your energy. You're balanced, you're aligned with the divine. You are, this is six of voices, there's no mental, you've cut out the mental bullshit. You're cutting out the mental in, internal chaos. You're allowing yourself to grieve the past or grieve what, what was once you thought you were home. Or if you have trouble in the home. Um, so there's a lot of change, there's a lot of transformation. And you have to let go of once what, what was once you thought you were home. Maybe some of you guys, it's changing like your groups of friends or your community a little bit. Okay? There's something that you're cutting out. Um... But yeah, to have this as a final energy to close off this whole thing, it's it's just flowing calmly and peacefully in, in the waters of the divine and moving away from mental chaos. You're cutting it out. And you're coming into like a beautiful relationship, a very harmonious relationship, a very inspired relationship. A lot of you guys are reconciling. I feel like pulling another card. Yeah, a lot of you guys are reconciling, okay? You've got the queen of inspiration and the muse of inspiration. This is like a divine couple, divine counterpart. A lot of passion between the two of you guys. A lot of spirit, a lot of spiritual energy, a lot of fire. Um, I feel like you're really inspired about this person, but you're really calm at the same time. It's a really beautiful balance of energies, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to let you go with that. Um, yeah, you have a lot. You have a lot of soft energy, um, but you also have a lot of hard, not hard energy, but you have a lot of powerful energy where you're manifesting. Like, it's not just that you're in the airy fairy um, floating around in bliss. Like, you're inspired. You're coming together in love. You're coming together in, because there's emotions here. But it's a lot of fire because there's a lot of your healing emotions too. The emotion cards are definitely queen of emotions, death, and five of emotions. But you have the empress in the sixth house, which is um, an emotional house, right? Let's see. The empress is clarifying the three of materials. Some of you guys... Yeah, you're just really working with the light within you. You're working with your higher self. Uh, let's see, the three materials, the five of emotions, clarifying seven. Yeah, I do feel like there was a time where there was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of conflict with this past person or this person that you're coming together in harmony with. Could be a new person, okay, too. So the past person could just, a lot of conflict, a lot of grief, actually, a lot of sadness that you've had to release. Almost like transform, okay? And I feel like you've you've done this work. And I do feel like this beautiful, like, new love or new beginning is coming back around for you. Let's see, we have the... Queen, the Empress, the world, the eight, clarifying the Empress. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. You're allowing the universe to do this work for you in a lot of ways, but you're doing, you have a lot of discerning, beautiful energy that's carrying out divine will for yourself. You're a hard worker. And it's all coming together for you. That's all I got to say. It's really beautiful. I'm just like looking at all the hanged man. You know, and I think you're thinking twice before you, like, it's like you're going, you're happy, you're doing a lot of inner work. Okay. And so I think you definitely, I, I see you being very discerning and cautious before moving forward. It could even be, you know, before you come into harmony with this person. 
because you, you have gone through it. You've been through a lot of transition. You've been through a lot of grief. So I think you're going to be really discerning and, and, and wait at times for that intuition to click before you move forward, which is fine. It's actually really powerful and it's a part of your gift. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you did. I do give personal reads. My information is in the description box down below. And with that, take care, Capricorn.